Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I feel like I need to start saying something else because it's getting old. Anybody else? So today's Thursday, April 25th. I apologize, I know this vlog was supposed to go up yesterday. However, this week has been insane. Let me tell you why. One, this was the week back from spring break. I always get weird anxiety the week after a break, like I forget how to teach. Two, we went from 60 degrees and pouring rain to 90 degrees sweltering hot with a broken air conditioner. So that was super fun. Three, I have my credential clearing interview next week and I have had a union meeting this week so I have a lot going on, not to mention I start grad school next week. So it's just been a whirlwind. And four, we start state testing next week. That means this week is a ton of review, so I do wanna talk about things that I've been doing to kind of prepare them for testing. Um, so yeah, it's just, it's just been a super fun week. Enough about that. Let's get into what we have going on in third grade. So if you're new here, I'm a third grade teacher in Northern California, and I like to do these classroom vlogs to just bring you around for the day so you can see what it's really like in the life of a teacher. I've mentioned this in other vlogs, but on Thursdays we get out at 1.50 as opposed to 3.10 because we have professional development after school on Thursdays, and today is an extended professional development, so we are here until 4.10, which is lovely. All right, so I'm gonna walk you through what we got going on today. Um, I also want to show you, I know I talked about this in another video, but in case you missed it, look at these bad boys. Aren't those awesome? I got those from National Business Furniture and I'm just so excited about them, as are my kids. Okay, let's come over here. So, this morning um, we're going to do some writing for bell work, morning meeting, math, we're wrapping up data, cursive, recess, library on Thursdays for a half an hour. We're also wrapping up our magnets unit this week. Lunch, read aloud, I'm reading A Wrinkle in Time, pack up PE minutes and go home. So Thursdays tend to fly rather quickly. So I am wrapping up data and math, which is like crazy because last year, being a first year teacher, I did not even come close to data before state testing, but I knew that um, things happened, so I had to move a little bit quicker and I smashed a lot of stuff together. Um, and I kind of like spiraled a lot of the material just to make sure they got it all before testing. I still haven't done measurement yet, so um, we are testing for ELA first for that reason, so we can make sure that they've gotten all the math. Um, so let's talk about state testing. Here in California, they take the CASP or the SBAC, it's the same thing. It is a computer test, obviously, um, so there's four sections. There's a ELA a multiple choice section, an ELA performance task. There's a math multiple choice section and a math performance task. And it is extremely rigorous, especially for a nine-year-old. Um, however, we have been talking about it for several weeks now. I've really been trying to pump them up. Um, so I do wanna show you one thing that I did. I actually got this from my friend Bree. She's Breedful Teaching um, here on YouTube, I think, but definitely on Instagram. So yesterday we um, created this chart and this is kind of just like what they're going to expect when they walk into the classroom. Um, so we talked about this and then we talked about what it is versus what it is not. Um, and I think after we had this like 30 minute conversation, it really started to ease their um, nerves. So highly recommend just being very candid and open and honest about what the testing actually is. So that's how we started. And then I'm doing something this year that I did not do last year. Um, because these testing sessions are so long, every teacher is just like, how do we get the kids to slow down and really take their time? Um, and so I kind of thought of this idea of a raffle. So I told my class that, um, I will be walking around throughout the test, and they get scratch paper, you know? And when I see kids who are really taking their time, writing out the math problems, um, writing down their sentences before they go and type them, when I see kids doing that, they're gonna earn a raffle ticket. And at the end of a testing session, they're gonna put their number on their ticket and it's gonna go into a pot. That's gonna happen all two weeks of testing. And then at the very end, when everyone's finished their testing, I'm going to have a huge bowl of tickets and I have several prizes to raffle off. 
Now, I opened up the conversation to them to let them choose some of the prizes. These prizes are not all monetary. Um, and let me show you the list, or I'll read you the list so you can get a better idea of what I mean. Okay, so here's my list. Some of these the kids came up with, some of these I came up with. So um, they could win a fun share for the rest of the year. And you have to keep in mind, after testing, there's only like four weeks left. So some of these I was like, yeah, that's fine, whatever. Um, so lunch out with me, and now this is obviously gonna be dependent on parent permission, but I would love to be able to like take them to, I don't know, McDonald's or Taco Bell or something super close and cheap. Um, and they like freaked out when they heard that, like what? So we'll see if that one's actually feasible. Um, teacher for the day, which I've never actually done in my classroom, but I've always really wanted to. Um, bring your technology for the day, like your iPad or something. Um, teacher tubs, I saw Miss, uh, not Miss Fifth, um, Miss West Best on Instagram do this a couple years ago where she grabbed like a bunch of old resources and stuff and gave them to the kids and the girls who love to play school were like super stoked on that idea. Um, I have Rubik's Cubes that I'm gonna give out a week without spelling or reading homework and they were like all about that. They're like, we don't have to take the spelling test. And I was like, no. Um, wear your pajamas to school, bring your pet. Um, no schoolwork for the whole day. I don't know if I'm actually gonna do that one but I wrote it down because that's what they came up with. 100 Eagle tickets, a candy jar, shoes off whenever you want, and then pick your job for the rest of the year. So again, as you can see, a lot of these aren't monetary, it's just things that they are allowed to do. And oh my gosh, after that discussion, all of a sudden it was like, they bought in 10 times more. And I really struggled with that last year, and I think teachers everywhere struggle with that every year, especially when you're at a school where um, the academic rigor isn't necessarily top priority for some of these kiddos. So. Um, that's what I'm gonna be doing this year. If you struggle with it, go ahead and try it out. If you do something different, go ahead and comment down below because I'm always open to ideas, um, especially when it comes to the state testing. It's grueling and it's a lot. So that's where we're at for state testing. I do wanna show you an activity that we did yesterday to review for math um, as far as testing goes. And this is not my idea. This 100% came from a good friend of mine. Her name's Jess. Um, she started over on Instagram at hello third grade and now she's here on YouTube So I'm gonna link her down below um, And she actually sent me all these task cards because I saw her do this and I was like girl because she also teaches third grade So in California, which is awesome. So essentially what she did was uh, she got the practice CASP testing and she just printed off all the math questions and she sent them to me and um, As well as the answer keys and I just cut them up. So they are literally all around my room into task cards so they're all over the room. And then yesterday we played basketball math review. Again, this is 100% Jess's idea. So basically in partners, they go around the room to find a question and on their whiteboard, they would write down the question number and just the answer because um, that would take forever to write the whole question. And then I had my answer sheet so they would come up with me and if they got it right, they got to shoot the basketball. So. Yesterday I had one, two, three, four baskets like taped to the whiteboard. So it was 15 points, 10 points, five points, and two points. And then they each got to shoot once. And if they made it, I would put that on their uh, score sheet. And then the team with the most points would win at the end. And it was so much fun. It was like all of a sudden, the the engagement just was like through the roof because the first time we reviewed, I literally just had them pull up the computer. We went through the questions and it was like, so I'm so grateful that Jess gave me this idea because the kids loved it. Um, and I really like the fact that even your, your kiddos who kind of struggle in math still bought in because even though, so they, did, they got a point for getting a question right. So maybe they only got two or three questions in that entire block, but they had the chance to make the 15 point basket. So they still bought in because they could still win, right? So they only won like Eagle tickets, which is our classroom economy. So. That is what we've been doing for testing this week. We start next Tuesday. Um, so I will definitely keep you posted on how all of that goes. Okay, so for now, I'm gonna put you guys down because our day is about to start and I have some stuff that I wanna get done. I will pick you guys back up in a little bit. there 
at recess. Um, we have library right after recess, so I only have a couple seconds. But for math this morning, I was gonna teach a specific lesson, and then I realized it went more along with measurement, which is our next unit, because I flipped them. So I kind of scrapped it because we have our data test tomorrow. Um, so we did a review game instead, which is what you saw. Um, and that's very similar to what I did for the CASP testing, except they did it in groups today. So um, that was really fun. The kids had a good time, and the day is like flying by. It's so hot. It's like 89, but my AC finally works, so that's good. Okay, just wanted to do a quick check-in, and I will see you in a little bit. Hey, guys, so it's lunch right now, and I forgot mine, but that's okay. So library was fun, and then after we did some science, we read a um, little article about magnets and then the kids got on the computers and they did a bunch of research and they were like going wow about all this magnet stuff so it was really fun they had some funny questions like if someone has metal in their body can a magnet pick them up and I was like that's a good question google it <laughs> that's pretty much the end of our day on Thursdays um, we go to lunch we do a read aloud and they go outside so um, before I end the vlog I do want to show you the state of our classroom because I feel like so many times on social media you see a teacher's classroom and you're like oh my god but a lot of times we don't show you like the day in progress. So I'm just gonna show you that now. Hopefully that makes you feel a little bit better. So since our day is pretty much over, I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog here. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Make sure you click the subscribe button on your way out. Go follow me on Instagram, at Early Adventures. And if you have any other test prep ideas, please leave them down below for the rest of us because I'm sure we would love anything else. So thank you guys so much. I love you so much. I hope you're having a great day wherever you are in the world. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.